Welcome back to Perfectly Average Golf. We're still up on the north side of Greenville playing at Greer Golf Club. If you missed the front nine, it was a great one. We played at plus five. Does that mean we possibly can find a way to get under 80? Let's find out. What's up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. All of you golf tubers out there, happy to have you. I'm Alan, and we are out at Greer Golf Club. Had never played this course before. We got a lot of rain last night as I'm recording it, and I was a little nervous to play some of the courses around me, but it was too perfect of a day weather-wise to skip playing golf. So we're trying out a new course, and the front nine, oh boy, the front nine was very, very good to us. We shot five over, including two penalties. So that's actually really solid overall. If we were to get rid of the penalties, we would have been closer to plus three. Uh, going out into the back, this course is, as I was saying on the front nine part one, if you have not seen it yet, it only plays 6,300 from the back tee box. So it's a very forgiving course distance wise, but it will force you to play good positional shots as a lot of the property is on a very steep slope. So you have to be careful about placement, but not really worried too much about distance. As we get into the back nine, we're still playing here at the back. Like I mentioned, plus five over. We're going into hole number 10. It's a dog leg to the left par four. Um, I didn't really actually get the chance to see how far it is, but I know driver is going to be okay. We haven't hit a lot of driver yet today, um, but we're going to start off this back nine video with hopefully a nice straight drive right up the middle. Didn't catch that super clean. So I probably didn't go super far, but it was straight, so we'll take that. So I said this was a dog leg to the left. Definitely a small dog leg to the right. <laughs> so I kind of stayed left of the, the 150 mark the whole way, and we ended up off in this kind of murky rough. Um, we got about 150 to a back pin by the look of it. Um, but I, I one of the things the guy at the clubhouse said was do not go long of these greens. So we're taking a club less pitching wedge. We have a little bit of helping wind as well, so. Um, hopefully we can get something just onto the green and it'll kind of bump back a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Here we go. I hit that so well. Stay on. Don't keep going left. Wow. I hit that. That's probably the best pitching wedge I've hit in a long time. And it may have actually gotten there with the wind. Um, but the wind is also kind of pushing from right to left and the crosswind definitely took us off the green a little bit So we got to get up and down for par. Let's see if we can handle it Our up and down in our short game in the front nine if you haven't seen it yet you should go back and rewatch it This course is worth a look for sure um, It was really good putting and, and chipping was really really solid. So let's see if we can keep that up All right, P wedge was indeed actually the right club. It's pin high um, Pin is right in the middle of the green as we're orientated to it right here um, so we've got some room to play with, but with this uphill lie, I kind of want to get this up in the air, get it close, and just kind of hope it sits. Most of the green kind of tilts from back to front, so we're going to go to the left side hopefully here. Uh, let's see if we can execute here. This would be a really cool shot. Oh, that landed like on the pin. A little left, a little long. That's alright though. We caught it really clean. Good roll. Okay. Bogey here on the tent. At hole 11, playing 372, there is a creek in the middle of this fairway that you're about to see. And off the tee box, this opening shot goes down a huge hill towards that creek. So um, with a bit of helping wind, we only need to hit about a 200-yard shot just to make sure that we don't do too long. The thing about it is, with the helping wind, to carry that creek, it's about 280-ish, maybe a little bit more than that. So we're gonna hit four hybrid, just to hit a nice, easy 200-yard shot. And then for fun, just to see, because we've kind of been conservative so far, we're gonna hit driver, see if we can carry. Let's go at it. Oh my God, that tree's right there, I didn't even see it. That's gonna be fine. I, I'm not gonna lie, as I was setting up, I didn't even see this tree here. I was so focused on the distance. <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna be fine, let's hit driver now.
I don't know. I hit it a little low and on the heel, but the line was good, so we'll see. Can't believe I hit that tree, it's so funny. All right, so here's the four hybrid. Like we said, it's fine. The drive is up there by the look of it. Again, we hit it really low in the face, so I wouldn't be surprised if we only hit that like 270-ish, uh, which would be right about where that is. So we're gonna go hit the driver and uh, go on. Let's keep moving. All right, we got about 130 yards, two-tier green. Don't want to be to the left, obviously, because that's where the higher part of it is. So we're gonna kind of keep something towards the middle, right side. Wind is coming right to left. Got pitching wedge, weird lie here. I'm gonna try to play this a little bit more off the back foot and just get good clean contact. We don't need to hit this super hard. We just gotta hit it super smooth. I didn't see it land. It was right on line with the pin. I don't think that should be long. I didn't hit it with any force really whatsoever. There's like an 80%, 75% swing right there. So we should be on. And now that I'm looking at it, I think we're on kind of the back side of the pin. Uh, we'll see. We'll drive up and find it, hit it, putt it, see if we can get birdie. Well, we just flew this thing about 40, 50 yards long of the pin. We didn't really, I mean, there was a little bit of helping wind, but I didn't think there was going to be that much. Wow. Okay. Difficult shot from here. Uh, it's just a little bit too far right. Yeah. See, it, it wants to come down. That's all right. It's really not much you can do from there, so we'll take it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Man. That's pushed it. Ah, not a great double. Yeah, it's not a great three putt. It's just, that's so strange, man. I'm still kind of thinking about that pitching wedge that went like 30, 40 yards long. I have no idea how that happened. Left us with a really poor look from that up and down position and then three putting is never great. So double here, move on. Don't think about it after the next 10 steps. Pull out the D-stick, hit a straight drive. Let's go get it. All right, really bad double as you mentioned. That gets us to plus eight, but there are some scoreable opportunities um, on this back nine. Um, so we just gotta be patient with it. We have a really big par five here, playing 579, a little dog leg to the right, and then kind of a tucked offset green even further right than that. Um, first and foremost, we've got a really tight kind of driving alley here that we need to make sure driver gets to the fairway in the first place. Um, so I'm gonna tee off on the left side of the box and hopefully this hit something dead straight up the middle of the fairway. That's the goal, right? hit hard but it's hit dead left man no the face just kind of close the face on it all right not the worst miss in the world um we still have a long way to go and the green is not reachable in two pretty much anyways so we really don't lose out on too much uh, we got four hybrid you got hit about 200 yard shot straight up to that last tree in the fairway over the 150 marker hopefully giving us a good look in That's bleeding left as well. What am I doing with these hooks? Well, it bounced over to the cart path on the right side. Right side of it, so that'll be fine, but goodness, that was not a good piece of contact. Two really bad left, left something shots. Hooked shots right there. It's two really bad hook shots in a row right there. I don't really know what happened, but we've got a look, I think. And yeah, it actually did creep into the fairway, so we should be okay. All right, another pitching wedge. Against the wind this time. <laughs> about 138 the shot at the moment. I would normally take like a choke down nine, but after what we just did with the pitching wedge before, we're gonna stick with the P wedge here. Uh, full swing, let's get at it. Don't go left, stay up there. Ugh. Needed to keep that right. Look, I'm gonna say it, this was still long, even if it held. Man, I don't know what's up with this P-Wedge. Um, green is gonna move left to right here, and there is a little bit of a ridge just off the left side of the pin. So I'm gonna try to play for that ridge, and once again, see if gravity will take it down. Let's go. Need to get a good up and down here. That's 
got to go a country mile. That is very bad. It is still rolling. That is a very long par putt. Man, the short game was really going so well for us on the front nine. And really, it's just we're putting ourselves in very impossible positions. That's a pretty impossible chip from there. Um, so we've got an uphill putt for par. Let's see. <laughs> Ah, really good idea. Gotta get off this bogey train though. Full 13, par three, back pin today. Um, the card reads 188, the pin is playing about 213. I got four hybrid for this one. Um, you cannot, not be left here. If you could stay to the right and even use that hill as kind of a, a backstop, you should funnel down towards the hole, but we cannot be left here. So I'm looking kind of at that tree to the right side of the pin and hopefully just use that as our target line. That's fat, it's gotta go. Looks like it's up there, but I caught that behind the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Sure it did, but it looks like it is up there. I caught that a little heavy though. I think if we hit that pier on that line, I think it's it's good, um, but we're definitely short. Might not even be on fully to the green. Uh, regardless, we're gonna have a very long second look here coming up for this par three. So we actually kind of got up here and rolled a little bit. Thank goodness. It's still a really long look. Um, you gotta go up a small hill as well to kind of double tier this green. But I think it's gonna start left to right and then finish right to left. So I'm gonna put something pretty much right on the pin as far as the starting line is concerned. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a nice little tap in par. We'll take that. Um, it didn't, I, for a second there, watching it go up the hill, I thought maybe it was really gonna have a chance of getting in there because I thought it was gonna start coming right, but it didn't come uh, right to left as much as I thought it would. All right, didn't let him give that one a chance to go out of the hole. Good par. Off the bogey train, we could still make a couple of birdies and flirt with 80. Um, I, I think that would be perfectly fine because I've never played this course before. The game is feeling pretty solid. A couple of miscues off the tee box and then a couple of missed putts and chips and things like that have kept us out of it. Um, and a lot of it is just because of the positioning we find ourselves in has not exactly been super great. So let's go on, next one up. All right, tremendously weird looking tee shot here for 14. There is a box behind me um, that I think is there for the blacks, but there is no black tee marker back there. I really want to tee off of it to really make sure we're fully tipping out the course, but the blue markers are right in front of me, which is what we've been teeing off of the whole time. There hasn't been a single black marker out here. Um, but getting back to this whole dog leg to the right, looks like it's a super narrow landing space. Um, it only plays, it plays just underneath 300 yards. Um, so I guess like technically you could probably drive the green here, but I have no idea where I'm going. There's a big old tree out in the distance you're about to see when I switch to the camera view. I'm just gonna take five hybrid that direction. Um, and then maybe hit driver just for fun, just to see where it ends up. So here we go. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, that should be really good. I'm gonna drive her for fun just to see. That's in the river to the left. <laughs> Fell so off balance. Hit that really hard. For what it's worth, you know, just taking those kind of random shots of driver, it gets me into a headspace where I know I'm for a fact I'm gonna be swinging hard. Um, and it kind of gets me into, what am I doing wrong? And the last couple that we've done those, the problem wrong is we're getting off balance with it. So we'll see, the five, uh, five hybrid should be in a really good spot. So looking back toward the tee boxes, <laughs> I don't know if there's any way that anyone drives this green from that position. There are so many trees that are guarding and then you're just absolutely dead to the left. So um, we made the right selection here with the initial club. We've got 84 yards, a little bit less than that, um, to a mid pin position. So really need to dial in this distance. We've been going long with a lot of these shots of the sand wedge. So I'm just gonna kind of ease up with the stroke a little bit and hope that we get the same kind of good contact. Uh, let's find out. Uh, a little short. Absolutely beautiful uh, green location. I didn't even know there was a lake back here. <laughs> uh, we got like negative space to work with off the screen. Just gotta take a nice confident stroke here. 
hit in front of, hit down into the ball. Hopefully, let something land real close. Go in. Oh, oh. Half a rotation away from sinking that. All right, hole 15, kind of a blind tee shot, but it's a dog leg to the right par four, playing 462. And again, you're gonna see it here in a second, like there's not a lot of tee box the, behind me here. I'm gonna put the camera down at the very back of the tee box. And the only markers that are here are blues. So we're not really missing out on too much total yardage from where the blacks are reading from. Uh, driver in hand, dead straight. And then hopefully a good second shot in. Give us a look, hopefully for Eagle, it'd be nice. Yeah, it's in play, but once again, I'm just pushing everything to the left. And I'm catching the ball in the middle of the face, so I don't know. Okay, 208 to a pin that is on literally the side of a cliff. Falls off steep to the right. We cannot miss right here. Um, I'm gonna take five hybrid here, play about a 190 shot, largely because the wind is kind of helping and it's pushing left to right. So the line is gonna be so far off the left side of this pin that it won't even look like we're going for the green fully. I just don't want to get out of play here. That's a little bit too far left, but it should be fine if it funnels. I'm getting so off balance with these shots. Um, Got to really work through that. I don't know what it is. I think maybe I'm just trying to swing a little bit too hard. Um, but regardless, line-wise, let's get some energy going. We can still put a really good score on the card here. Um, I think that's fine. It was on the very furthest left part of where I wanted to be. Um, and hopefully it kind of funnels down towards the green. Distance should be pretty good as well. So here's hoping. All right, we got about 38 feet for Eagle. This played exactly how we wanted it to. Kind of rolled off the hill, I imagine, and settled right on the green. Um, difficult putt, though. I think this is going to come a little left to right. Got to give it a chance. Very good putt, very good putt. All right, let's lock up the birds. I told you we we're gonna find times to score as their average golfers. I told you we would find times to score. All right, number 16, par four, dog leg to the left. 385, 360-ish to the pin. And um, man, another difficult decision not having played here before. I don't really know what to line up with. Um, and I don't know how far I've, I'm able to go because we're kind of at the top of like this ridge line, and I think it falls off to the left and it falls off to the right. So we have to place a really accurate tee shot here. So I'm just gonna take three wood. I'm gonna go over this first kind of sprucey pine tree seat in front of us, um, and hopefully just find the middle of the ferry. That's the only thing I can really hope to do at this point. I hit that absolutely perfect. All right, saw it down. The question is, where does it roll and bounce to? Hopefully we're good though. I mean, that was dead center of the face. Small little draw on it. That was the best I've hit this three wood in a while. Let's hope we have a good shot in. Another great opportunity here to score. We're dead center of the fairway and it does steeply fall off to the right and steeply fall off to the left. So without any rough being here to guard for you, <laughs> had to be in the fairway. Uh, 136, heavy crosswind. You've got pitching wedge. Looking to keep this off to the left side a little bit. And I'm going to take about a three-quarter swing here because we've been hitting this pitching wedge really far today. Oh, no. All right. Up and down try. Got some good space to work with here. So I want to try to get this one up there as we just create a big crater. Let's find out, see. Too far right, Alan. We'll see, it's gonna be a really long par putt from there. Who knows, we can go a long one, we can go a long one. Let's get the energy up, what are we doing? Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, it goes the opposite way. <laughs> I read that right to left. Good speed, though. All right, we give the birdie back. Go on to the next. All right, par three. I think this is the final par three in the course. It's playing pretty short, too. About 165 to the pin. So again, that steep, that really stiff crosswind is still in play here. So I got to flight something low, and I need to keep this left. Right is dead once again. Um, so I'm going to take eight iron here. It may not be enough club, but I don't want to be long and I don't want to be right. So I'm going to kind of just choke down an eight, hit about a three quarters follow through, try to keep it low. See if we can get something up there. Let's see. I didn't see it down. I hit that flush. Perfect. Exact type of flight that I wanted. I have to imagine it's on, but I, I don't know where it landed. I want to say it probably pushed a little bit to the right, but we'll see. That's the bounce back swing that we need to keep the energy up. We still have an opportunity here. I'm like, I'm so, I have to apologize. We've been keeping the energy like super low and tranquil. I won't say like I'm a little sad, but like we've missed out on some opportunities. But we're still shooting really damn well. So let's get that energy to finish off this back nine, huh? <laughs> oh, we gave her a real good chance. Oh man, that close. Good par. Hole 18. I thought we were on 16 a moment ago, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of gotten lost. I'm not actually 100% sure where we are in relation to par. Um, but I know a possibility of a birdie could put us really close, if not at 80. So um, 364 is this par four. It's got tree lines guarding the left and the right, but um, honestly, there's two fairways on either side. So a miss over those trees is not a terrible thing, which if you know me and you know why I say those things, means you know that we're going for driver here. We're gonna try to get aggressive, give us a really close look in, and then hopefully be able to con uh, convert onto a birdie. Um, we'll see, stiff uh, crosswind left to right still. Uh, we're just going to kind of take this thing straight towards where the clubhouse is. Let's go. Let's get a nice solid drive here to finish it off. That's us. Pricey made the ball. Dead straight. About time. On balance the whole way, it's what we wanted. It's those tiny little corrections that are really helping us off the tee box. Um, so hopefully that will, you know, the wind's gonna hold that up pretty hard, but hopefully that gives us just an easy wedge in. Hopefully we can find a way to get birdie. Let's go, baby. All right, we blistered that. 95 yards. Pin to the left. Gonna play this off the back foot. Try to keep this flighted under the wind a little bit. But we gotta start this ball left of the pin because of the crosswind that's still coming. So gotta make sure we do that first and foremost. I don't know what it's been about the wedges lately, but it's just like something has just clicked. Like that was nowhere near a full swing and we easily got on. And I think it's about pin high. I don't know. I don't know what's changed, but we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> got a birdie look. Let's see if we can play the final one under par. How about it, average golfers? It's not the birdie that would have gotten us to 80. It's a par that keeps us at 81. That's two back-to-back -back rounds that we shot an 82 on aerated greens, um, which like it wasn't even just like they punched him. It was like a sand trap almost on most of the greens. Um, and an 81 here in a course that we had never played before. The game is feeling unbelievable. Um, we do need to work on a couple of things with driver. We hit all of our approach shots pretty darn well today. Nothing really super fat or chunky. Um, man, 
I, I don't I don't know. I don't know where this is all coming from, but I'm here for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. Again, if you're a new viewer, welcome. It's, I'm, I'm really happy to have you guys here. We're almost at 300 subs. Uh, we're pushing for 500. We're gonna get more content up on TikTok. I'm almost caught up as this video will be posted. I'm almost caught up with editing immediately after I play the round. We were really caught behind there for a while in February and March, but we're starting to get pretty caught up now. So if you enjoy the YouTube content, make sure you stay subscribed, like the video, come on back for what's gonna happen next because we're gonna continue to do some course vlogs and some walkthroughs of some courses we've never played before. But I also wanna go out and start doing some course reviews where I give you guys kind of an inside look at the clubhouse, the practice facilities, maybe a couple of the signature holes. That'd be like a five, six minute video if you're looking for information on the courses. And then I'm gonna immediately follow follow up and do an 18 hole walkthrough where I'm not really doing any commentary on the course, but I'm gonna be doing commentary in my studio. So you can kind of get a full glimpse of what the course actually looks like. What are some of the strategic plays you need to be making and thinking of? I'm really pumped about that content. So that plus more is still coming. So subscribe if you have not already. I'm also on Instagram, check that out. And if you wanna get ahead of the TikTok game, it's Perfectly Average Golf on TikTok. We're gonna start getting some videos up on there too. Till next point, make sure you guys out there stay perfectly average. So long.